never knew it before. I never knew anything before. She come into court and I say to myself, I must not accuse this woman, for she sleeps in ditches and so very old and poor. But then she sit there, denying and denying. And I felt a misty coolness climb up my back. And the skin on my skull begun to creep. And I felt a clamp around my neck and I could no longer breathe air. And then I heard a voice. A screaming voice. And it were my voice. And all at once, I remembered everything she had done to me. So many times, Mr. Proctor, she come to this very door begging bread and a cup of cider. And mark this, whenever I turn her away empty, she mumbled. But what does she mumble? You must remember, Goody Proctor, last month, a Monday, I think, after she walked away, I thought my guts would burst for two days after. Don't you remember it? And I told Judge Hawthorne, and he asked her so. Sarah Good, says he. What curse did you bumble that this girl must fall sick two days after turning you away? And Sarah Good replied, Why, Your Excellence, no curse at all. I only say my commandments. I am hope I may say my commandments, says she. And Judge Hathorne replied, Recite for us your commandments. And of all the ten, she could not say a single one. She never knew no commandments, and they had her in a flat lie.